Welcome to Germany vs USA. Today, we're going to talk about clothes. We were going to talk about um, fashion, but Jim and I realized it's not going to happen. No. We're not experts on fashion. And we would need two girls to really talk about that. So we actually want to leave it to you. Leave comments and, you know, um, and talk about fashion in Germany and the USA. Just because we don't think we're capable uh, yeah, of doing that. Yeah, not at all. But we did decide we'd talk about clothes. Because one thing, if you're German or American in each other's countries. This you, thingy with the exchange. <laughs> the, the exchange. You will notice, you know, me as an American going to Germany, clothes are a lot more expensive. Um, it's it's like brand clothes. Yeah, so. you know, uh, wow. brand name clothes are more expensive. Um, you can, you know, if you just need like a pair of socks or whatever, I mean, you can find a cheap pair of socks, you know, same thing. But, uh, you know, Nike, uh, Adidas, Adidas, Polo. You know, just, just basically all the brands, you know, like uh, or the Adidas in German pronunciation. Yeah. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, Hugo Boss, you know, Ralph Lauren, or Ralph Lauren, I don't know. Um, all that stuff is so much cheaper here in the U.S. It's really expensive to buy that in Germany. And here, it's, it's sometimes half the price or even more. It depends, you know, if it's on sale. But generally, like, the brand clothing is a lot cheaper. I guess it's too, because, I mean, the companies, well, not Adidas, but, uh, you know, you know a, lot of, a lot of the clothes I was looking for were American clothes right. in Germany. That's but they're all made in, like, Bangladesh and China. <laughs> so I don't, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what, what that is all about. Um, and even like German brands like Adidas or Adidas, they are a lot cheaper here. Uh, Hugo Boss is German. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's an industry there. There are people from Germany going to New York and buying like high-end designer clothing. Um, like just, they take two empty suitcases, buy a whole bunch of stuff, go back to Germany, they sell that. And so they can pay, you know, for the traveling, for the flight, for the hotel. And they even make money off that. That's, yeah. That's crazy. I, it's really, every, I mean, when I'm in the U.S., I just, I, I don't buy clothing in Germany anymore. Everything I buy is just here. And basically, I can here, I can buy like brand clothing for the price of no-name clothes in Germany. Well, you got a, you got a polo jacket for like 20 bucks. Right. Day. It's like, and I would have, you know, that it was in Germany would have cost like 60, 70, 70 euros. Or jeans. Jeans. Levi's jeans in Germany, very expensive. I think like, you know, 50, 60 uh, euros. And if you want to get fancy, you can pay up to 100, 100 euros. Um, the other day I saw one for $17 I and mean, it was on sale, but you know, like usually you don't pay more than, pay more than, you know, 30, perhaps maximum $40 for, yeah. for jeans. Uh, one thing I think, uh, why you can find clothes cheaper here, uh, is like we have a lot more outlet stores. I've, mm -hmm. I've only been to one outlet store in Germany. Now, granted, I, I'm, when I'm in Germany, I'm not there to shop, so I wasn't You can really admit it, Jim, it's fine. I, it's my passion. He's asked me so many times for like, the, like <laughs> hunting for the outlet, out, outlet stores, but it's true they're way more here, and, the, and they are huge. Yeah. yeah, we have huge outlet stores. Um, I wonder if it also has to do with taxes. I'm sure it does. I'm sure our clothing is higher tax than yours. Yeah, I guess. So. Talking about clothing, um, hats. So many people in the U.S. wear hats. Do they? Yeah. Wow. That is true. I never saw any of your friends wearing a, no, no. Wearing a hat I, like this. That might just be my impression, but to me, in, um, in Germany, it's, um, it seems slightly impolite to wear a hat. Because, you know, you're kind of like hiding yourself a little bit and you, you know, you, I don't really know. But to me, like, uh, I think in Germany, it's, it's slightly seen as, you know, like, oh, being a little bit like, not really shady, but yes, yeah, slightly impolite. I, th I mean, well, there is hat etiquette here, of course. Um, you know, in the South, in general, people wear more hats. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you hey, always. Hey, Terry. If you're, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're inside, um, you know, I mean, I'm here, so I'm not gonna take my hat off. But if I was at my mom's house, you know, this hat wouldn't be on inside. And like mm -hmm. when I'm in class, you know, you don't right. wear, I don't wear a hat or anything like. So there is, you know, a little uh, hat etiquette. Mm -hmm. but, How many hats do you have? A lot. <laughs> a lot. I have a lot of hats. I remember seeing in many American households, they have like one room where just like a hat collection of different, you know, sports teams and, and there's a hat for everything. Yeah, I have a lot of hats. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't like wearing hats. I look like an idiot with that. <laughs> <laughs> the sizes of clothing are also different in some cases. And there's generally a size inflation going on. Um, so in the US, if you buy an L, 
It's actually more in XL. Is it? Is it? It is. And it's actually the clothing industry does that because they want you to feel like, oh, I can wear an L. Like it wants to make you feel better so you can wear like the smaller size, well, the namely the smaller size clothes, but actually it's, you know, it's like, it, it's, an, it's an XL. Now I've bought clothes in Europe and, and I'll be honest here, they're a little tighter fitting. I mean, it's not, <laughs> I'm not talking about like, mm, I packed on some pounds. Uh -huh. It's like, damn, <laughs> what, what, am I in Italy? <laughs> I mean, you know? It is true. I mean, we, we have size and flavor. It always depends on the brand, but I have a feeling here in the US, you know, like I can basically go two sizes down and it still fits. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> magic. <laughs> well, your shoe sizes are different too. Shoe sizes are different. So like I wear a size 12. What is that in, you know, like a 46? I think no, 12 is probably more like 47, I think. 47? 46, 47, yeah. Is that wear... centimeters? No, I don't know what that is. You don't know, I don't know what that is either. But 10, what, what is 10? Is that inches? No. Oh. No, it's 12 inches, yeah. Really? Interesting fact for the audience. If you take your foot and put it on your forearm, mm -hmm. it's the exact same size. Ha. Huh. I'm dead serious. Does it work? All right, so we talked a little bit about clothing, hats, shoes, etc. Nice. Not, not so much fashion. Again, we encourage you guys. Yeah, help us out here. We're not the most fashionate people. Knowledge, knowledge, we know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed the show, learned something, y'all take it easy. Fritti! We are not experts on fashion, really, we have to hire probably female species. Um, that sounded weird. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Sorry, species, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Can we please use that as a blooper? <laughs> I know. Come on, man. You, you're using the one of me saying I have people locked in my basement. <laughs>